Welcome back. So in this exciting video, uh, I will show you how to add custom sound into your notifications and how you can implement that in just like three to four simple steps. It's gonna be a intro like a theoretical or something like I'm explaining the code, how the things are work. I'm not going to do it like side by side with you uh, because it's a very simple process. It's just a very a unique process like people don't usually know about this. So that's why this is unique. Otherwise, it's very simple to use problem. Okay, so starting off firstly, why we use the custom sound. So basically we need the custom sounds for the stuff like if you're creating some app in which you want some want your notification to stand out, like if you have some reminder or timetable or management app so that in that the notification plays the crucial role and the notification must be distinguished from all the other apps from the phone. Because sometimes it happens if you use the same audio, each and every app will have the same sound. So basically, uh, the user will be confused whether it is important notification or not. So if you can give some proper uh, sound, different music or something like that, you can grab the attention from all the user, right? In my case, we are using it for a visitor entry. So as if someone came, comes to your gate, you, it can send you a reminder and that reminder will be in custom sound so you can surely know that someone is your number gate. So you can just go and pick up your phone and I act accordingly. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, moving forward, what are the things you require first and what are the packages and things we are using? So if you are familiar with notifications, so if you don't know how notifications work, first go watch that video. I'm just covering the custom sound part in this video. Okay, it can be found on my YouTube or any other YouTube place. It's not a big thing. You can learn it from documentation also. So that's a prerequisite. <clears throat> other thing, you must have one MP3 file. It can be like or something like right. So it can be anything else, right? So this is the main thing, and you need this, and you have to put your MP3 and Android app source and resource where we put our icons right in this then you have to create a, if you have the raw folder you put in the raw folder otherwise you will create a new folder which is a raw okay usually you will have the raw folder in that cases you don't so you start with the raw okay basically you add the raw so you add the mp3 in the raw and now you're set for the mp3 after that i am using a package which is called the advanced notification to create a notification okay so awesome notification. so sorry and local notification so these are the two packages you only require to create all the stuff so this is to create a custom notification and this is to just to call the local notification. so this is very important and this is only to create the custom notification adding images adding uh, sound adding effects adding buttons and everything right so that's why we need this after this you are all set just go then you have to let's get started right so first of all uh, if you know how the notifications are work in awesome notification you have to create a channel so for that we create in the, our main function we create a, a method which is something like this we call a method which is await uh, awesome notifications initialize then it's a null so it's a format you can go with that you can see initialization requires the icon so if you don't have an icon you can just add a default icon otherwise you can put over icon which is like it requires a string so you can just add the icon and it will show the icon right? basically that so right now i put the null because i don't need one now you the second parameter is the list of notification channel and then we have list of notification channel group you don't require group because you are not using multiple sound in this type if you want to use the multiple sound types of sound for each notification like if you have some notification in that you want this sound and other notification you want other sound then you can use it okay then the language code it's not required most of the time and this, this is like optional thing so mainly our focus would be on creating a notification channel as you can see we have certain notification channel and right now i commented it i will create one for you just to showcase how it works so we create a notification channel this was a uh, parameter which is very important okay so channel key what is the channel key channel key is like signifies key which notification type like is this right so we right now just create i am creating a random notification and i'm creating one like which is the high channel importance because 
it is like name it's not gonna affect anything on the usability or something like that so let's copy this again basic notification what are the channel description okay so it's gonna be notification channel I spell a mistake of oh, basic right of oh, basic test simple and this is the main thing we have created so this is how you create a channel so this is our create channel right now now you can set different things as you can see we have created importance so importance is also a big channel showcase this is also a big thing you can use utilize them both okay uh, just comment it out <laughs> play sound so now as we are adding the sound you have just have to do this part true otherwise it's you have to add basically play sound which is true okay um, okay and then we have only another thing which is you can just make the alert once or like so there are so many parameters you can see <coughs> change the colors icons string lab colors okay is so locked it is like logged or not you can uh, do that too you can set the sound source as we require the sound source and how you gonna uh, set the sound source is basically as we put the sound in this file so you just have to say resource it is very important you have to note this down resource the uh, hyphen slash slash raw which is our folder and then we finally kill the one remember you don't need to have the dot mp3 extension in this just have to show the path which is this as you can see we have added over here i just copied like in the case i spell something wrong right then we will see all the other parameters which is vibration patterns you can add vibration and led on off like every color enable the vibration so if it is very important if you like uh, make led colors like custom for that right so you can color start let's our app theme let's color our let's make our background color light blue right so this is how you can create a channel so you have completed two step first step would be creating and uh, adding the empathy file second step would be adding the channel right so now you have the channel uh, you have the channel and you have the empathy now it's time to call the api call the notification so for that you just have to create one class or one function basically as i am using the awesome notification so simply what you have to do in the simple terms i'm not doing this big right so let me just do a simple thing for you it's gonna be complicated for you right so i'll just go here let's let's think if this is in my notification handle as i'm using the awesome notification so what happens okay so this is the ignore this all this for right so what i'm doing in the main file as you can see what my main file goes to five is api integration and notification services it i am calling this to class so what any notification says ignore extra codes i know it is so messy but it's it is what i was on behalf then we go to the english push notification this is this and then you can go to the handle messages and this is my main thing that handles my messages right yeah so this is like all we do for handling the messages after that so if i go this is our function how we call the notification so if i just want to call the guard or notification i will create a directly call the awesome notification create notification we add the channel type so our channel type was different channel type was different You have to add the channel to key too, so I just add that. Then after that, I just change the channel name, ID set to one. I not required, but we still do that. Action type, I don't re uh, require any action type. So let's find that. Provision layout, summary, release custom sound. We require the custom sound. So in the custom sound, I will just copy again my path, but change it to the alert. I require alert. I don't require payload and everything right now. So ignoring that part. Okay. Got looking good. So as this is good. Action button I don't require. Schedule is not required. So it's the simple function. So if you ignore everything. Okay. 
one is copy this one okay and just ignore everything right and just have it like here you will get what we are doing basically we are calling a create notification in that we have created the channel and add the custom sound right okay there are so many things but wake up screen it's a uh, true or false so it's gonna true or false I mean, there are so many things we have we can do and achieve in this but right now we are just focusing on the custom sound so as soon as you hit that you have to rebuild your app so just go and if you don't have try it will build in your emulator and stuff so uh, finally you will get the notification working with the sound so i will show you if it's close on a time uh, otherwise i'll just uh, i'm just doing all my wrong code i think <laughs> yeah i think that's gonna be in my code i undo that i undo that too so if my apps build on time i'll show you how the sounds really looks right okay Sorry about the mess. Hmm, it's not even bold, so I think it's gonna take time. So, until next time, uh, stay tuned. Have a nice day. Bye.